Hey. Thanks for coming over. Are you ready for this facial treatment? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, we're gonna do, I'm gonna do both of us at the same time. And then we can chat and uh, catch up. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, put this up, you know, around your face to get your hair back. Okay. I've got, um, I'm gonna use a headband, I think. Just to kind of keep it out of the way, ideally. That works. Yeah, you got it. Okay, cool. I'm excited. No, I don't know. I just felt like, um, you know, hanging out and we can might as well do something good for ourselves at the same time, you know? Yeah. Okay, so this is one of those exfoliating gloves. So we're just going to scrub away the outer layer of stuff. I know you just washed your face, but we're going to do it. Let me know if I'm pressing too hard, but I want to get all that, that gunk out. Speaking of exfoliating skin, have you ever tried dry brushing? No? We might have to try that next. We'll see. Um, I got this big brush for it, and it's one of those things that I forget to do, but when I do it, it feels really good, and it's supposed to, um, bring blood flow up to the surface of your skin, which of course helps your skin get nourished, so... Does this feel weird? Someone else exfoliating? No. I guess you get enough facials that um, it's probably not weird for you at all. Huh? I've only gotten one um, professional facial in my entire life, so it still feels weird when people do things for me like that. I don't know why. Okay. How's that feel? You listening to me? Get all the dry layer up because we're going to put a mask on. When we take the mask off for it to have all of these dead skin cells that it peels off with it. So I have this patch of dry skin right here. I'm really trying to get that off. Yeah, it's like um, I use some of my facial products that I use and I love. Um, I overdo it, so I end up giving myself like these little because my skin right by my eyes is very sensitive and I don't respect. <laughs> How sensitive it is, so I end up um, giving myself like almost little chemical burns. Yeah. I know how crazy is that. Kind of a weird thing, but. Okay. Alright. I think we're good. one of my sleeves. It's so cold, I know. I'm officially starting to look forward to warmer weather. Like, I really like fall 
but I don't want it to be winter, like, ever. Maybe, like, a week of winter would be fine. But it's been multiple weeks now of freezing temperatures, and I'm just not... I'm not a fan of that. Okay, so, I have this Renewing Cucumber Peel Off Gel Mask. Instantly refreshes and clarifies for rejuvenated, rejuvenated skin. Um, instantly refreshes, okay, I have read that. Um, normal to combination skin. So, a cooling skin quenching mask that gently peels away impurities that can cause skin to be rough and dull. Rough, definitely right here. Cucumber and aloe help soothe while moisturizing, ensuring skin feels soft and silky smooth after every use. Perfect for normal to combination skin. So it says, apply an even layer to clean, dry face, avoiding eye area, brow area, hairline, and lips. Leave on 10 to 15 minutes or until dry. Gently peel off mask from outer edges. Rinse with warm water. And it says we can use this twice a week if we so desire. I'm actually going to put my hair up even more. I'll just tie it back a little bit or... Okay. I've got all these like weird bang things going on, but whatever. I don't care if you don't care. Okay. Are you ready? So I've got this little tool here. This might get messy, but that's okay. Okay, you ready? Here we go. need a lot of this, I think. Or should I do my face first? I'll do my face first. Try it out and see um, how thick we need to go under this. Okay. I don't know where to start. Oh, that's cold. That's cold, cold, cold. Ooh, it kind of feels nice though. can't really see it, huh? I was thinking it might have like a green color to it for some reason. I don't know why I thought that. But it doesn't. I saw this mask in, um, I think I was in Target. And it was like purple. And, or I guess it was black with purple sparkles. <laughs> and I was like, that would be cool. But, um... It was like a one-time use thing, and I thought getting a bottle would be better because then I can redo it or use it whenever I want. So, that's why we ended up with this one. We'll see. But that way when I'm done with yours, we'll only have a little bit of time before we, uh, Need to take mine off and then we can see what it looks like. Thanks for holding the mirror up. So I can see what I'm doing. So what else is new with you? Anything? What are you feeling like doing tonight? After all of this? Okay, I think that's good. Are you ready? Yeah, we could play some games. Or watch a movie. Or we 
you could attempt the freezing tundra out there if you want. And, um, try going for a walk outside or something like that. I'm trying to get really close to your hairline, but not like up in it. Trying to. Your skin looks really nice though. You've been drinking a lot of water, that's probably a smart idea. I should do that. I made this um, bulletin board I'll show you later. But, um, of like my goals this year and just a bunch of different stuff, like different books I want to read. Most of them are self-improvement or motivating or like seven habits of highly effective people and, you know, those types of atomic habits, books like that. Um, you know, just trying to maximize my potential. Sounds weird saying it like that, but I feel like there's a lot of growth that I can be doing right now. So, the um, thing is, I can talk about it, but in, if I don't see it, um, it won't happen. You know, I was reading this uh, statistic or fact, and I don't even know if it's true or not, to be honest with you. Um, I think that's pretty well covered. Did you feel like I missed a spot? No? Okay. Okay. Um, anyway, so the, uh, the fact was saying that if you talk about your goals and you share them out loud with people, then your brain somehow registers that as you've already completed like a portion of it just by talking about it, which of course you haven't, right? So if you're really committed to um, like writing a book or whatever your goal is, don't talk about it. Tell yourself you're going to do it, maybe write it down, but um, don't talk to other people about it because you won't accomplish as much as if you keep it to yourself. And I'm probably messing that up a little bit, but that's just the sentiment behind it and that blew my mind <laughs> like I talk a lot about oh I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and apparently I need to shut up <laughs> I don't know um okay oh you wanna actually while we're doing this you wanna put teeth whitening stuff in yeah let's do it why not right we're doing a whole a whole at-home spa day. Okay, let me go grab the strips. I'll be right back. Okay, so this, um, this one I've tried a couple different brands, and this one's the one I like the most. Um, so it's called Luminix. At least that's how I would pronounce that. Um, and I just really like them. Some of the other strips I feel like kind of made my teeth sensitive and um, I don't know, I don't really, I don't really like that. So this one, you know, when you read the back of the ingredients, it's stuff that you kind of actually understand what it is as opposed to like a bunch of chemicals and stuff. So I like that. I mean, there's like two maybe that are carboxomethyl cellulose, but cellulose is... I think plant-based, so anyways, like, but there's lemon and sage and coconut, those are all things that, like, I know about, <laughs> like, they're real things, water, anyways, so, so I'm just gonna put mine on, and then you can put yours on. A little bit awkward to stick someone's hand in someone else's mouth, isn't it? Can you hold up the mirror? Thank you. Mm. 
It's gonna be so weird talking. <laughs> Talking with these on. That's okay. Okay, and then the bottoms. Do you get it? You use the pen. Ta da! There you go. You want to do yours? There you go. Yeah, um, I tried the ones with the gel and you put it in the tray and then you put the tray in and you bite down and you turn the light on and um they I mean I feel like they worked like it was effective but I didn't like having that huge thing in my mouth for 30 minutes like this is just a lot easier I mean technically this day and age you could wear a mask over it and no one would notice. You know? You wouldn't be able to tell. I think I missed the top of this. There you go. You got it, okay. So I think I got a couple more minutes on our face stuff. So afterwards, I'm going to probably mix up a little bit of this. So this is Jojoba oil for healthier skin, hair, and stronger nails. So it just says, apply two to three drops to your fingers and gently massage into your face, neck, body, etc. So then, um, it also has a favorite moisturizer recipe on here, and it consists of five drops of this, three drops of rose seed oil, and one drop of vitamin E oil and what do I have? Rose oil and vitamin E oil. So I'll go grab a little container and I guess while we're sitting here waiting for this to dry, I'll start mixing it up a little bit. Cool. <laughs> I'm excited. So I'm just going to put the drops in here and kind of mix it up and I'll probably put way too much of each one, like double it up, triple it up, so I have some for later. Are you feeling it? It feels cold on me. Does it tingle or feel cold on you? That's kind of nice though. Feels like, well refreshing is the term they used and I would agree with them. It is a refreshing sensation on my skin. Okay. So. Seven, eight, nine, ten is a double, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we'll triple it. Triple the rest of Rosehip oil times three. I need to wipe down the lid on that one. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. 
And then I said one drop of vitamin E oil, so we're gonna do three. I hope it doesn't come out too fast. One, two, three. Okay. And then I'm just gonna kind of mix it up. wait until this is ready. It's still a little sticky. Okay. Mine's starting to, um, almost like peel itself, so yours is gonna be ready in a minute. Kinda of weird looking how I'm feeling this. What do you think? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> So we're definitely going to have to um, wash the rest off because there's like little bits in the bathroom. Um, and then we'll come back and I'll put the, the oils on all of us. Wow, it looks like I'm shedding a, a layer of skin, huh? It's so creepy. The part I just want to come off. There's definitely little spots. <laughs> yeah, it does look gross. Maybe not like a, a bad idea. Or a Halloween thing though, huh? Put some on and have it like drape off of you all nasty. Okay. I'm gonna go rinse the rest off. I think I got pretty much all of it, but I'm gonna rinse the rest off and then uh, it'll be your turn to peel yours off and rinse and then we'll put the, the oils on. And then hopefully our teeth will be ready to come off too. I think it said 10-15 minutes, something like that. Okay. Okay. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and um do me and then we'll do you after this. Okay. Actually I think I'm we prefer to use my hands for this one. Then use a paintbrush. But that was helpful to mix it up. Okay, so I got some on. You know, I always thought that putting oil on your skin was kind of a weird thing. But, um, I'll tell you what, as I get older, I'm realizing how amazing that really is to, uh, Use some of these serums and oils. It's funny what happens when we get older. Like skincare. I wish I had been doing that a long time ago. But it wasn't until I got older that I was like, oh yeah, I should really be like paying attention to my skin and all of that. It's one of those things that if I could tell younger me, then I would definitely tell her Mo 
take better care of your skin, be kinder to yourself, and take those risks. They're scary, but take them. I wonder where I would have ended up if I had done some of the things that I had wanted to do, but was afraid, or lacked the confidence. Okay. You want to go watch that? You can wash your face. Okay. Are you ready? Don't you think are there things that you would have done? Yeah, if you had known or you know, like for example, I wanted to be a doctor for a while and I just was too scared of flunking out and not being smart enough or, you know, I lacked the confidence to be a doctor and now that I'm in the medical field, it's like, oh, I definitely could have been a doctor for sure. And probably in some ways a better one than many of them out there. Not to toot my own horn. But... But who knows? They have a lot more things that they're looking at than I am as a respiratory therapist. So... But, yeah. Just different things that you do if you would know. What do you think? See, and now we're all fresh and gorgeous. What do you think? I'm gonna take these off. There's so much lotion or oil on them now. difference for me at least. You feel that? <laughs> you like it? Yeah, that worked out really well. I'm like, we're ready. <laughs> I don't know. Ready for anything. So, let's go brush our teeth and then um, we can figure out what we're gonna do the rest of the night. Okay. I'm so glad you came over. You encouraged me to bring out some of this stuff I've been meaning to try for a while. Okay. Done. Yay!